This is Lesson 12.2, Surface Areas of Prisms. Your objectives are to find lateral and surface area of prisms and cylinders. Find the lateral and surface area of each prism. Round to the nearest tenth if necessary. Here we have a triangular prism. For the lateral area, we'll use the formula L equals pH, where P is the perimeter of the base and H is the height of the prism. The base is a triangle, so we need the perimeter of that triangle. We know two sides of the triangle. It is a right triangle, so I can do the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side. 8 squared plus 5 squared equals C squared. So 89 equals C squared. And when you square root both sides, C is the square root of 89. So the square root of 89 will go right there. So for the perimeter, We'll do the square root of 89 plus 5 plus 8, and that's about 22.43. The height of the prism is the distance between the bases, which is 10. And now I can multiply that together, and the lateral area is 224.3, and that'll be feet squared. Remember, P is the perimeter of the base. I had to do the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side, and H is the distance between the bases. For total surface area, we do the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism plus two times the area of the bases. Well, this much I've already found. That's my lateral area. So I can substitute in my lateral area number, which was 224.3. and then two times the area of the base. In this one, the base is a triangle. For a triangle, area is one-half base times height. The base of the triangle is eight. The height of the triangle is five. So the area of the triangle will be 20. That 20 is what goes in for big B. Remember, big B is the area of the base. What shape is the base? A triangle, and that's when you do the area of a triangle right there. So when I put all that together, the total surface area is going to be 264.3 feet squared. So use your lateral area right there and then two times the area of the base. Find the lateral area and surface area of each cylinder. Round to the nearest tenth. So we'll use the lateral area formula. L equals 2 pi r H. The radius of this cylinder will be 2. The diameter is 4. The radius is half that, which is just 2. The height of the cylinder is 8.5. Remember, the height is the distance between the bases. In this one, it's 8.5. When you work that out, 
you get 106.8 meters squared. For total surface area of a cylinder, use the formula 2 pi rh plus 2 pi r squared. The radius is 2, the height's 8.5, and the radius is 2 again. Punch all that in and you get 131.9 meters squared. Use the formula, substitute in the correct value. We didn't know the radius, so we had to find it. And then punch it all in. Make sure you hit the pi button and not 3.14.